In today's mental health check, new research finds more teenagers nationwide are winding up in emergency rooms for suicidal attempts and ideations. According to the findings, nearly 66% of those cases were girls. The average age was 15 years old. Joining us now to talk about this is family and clinical psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. Thank you so much for being here with us. So teenagers Thank and you. especially young girls are under so much pressure from social media and friends and school and those are just a few things to name and it may not <laughs> always be easy to tell when someone is really struggling right beyond just a bad day so what are some of the warning signs to look out for in young people well, I mean, I think the thing we think of first and foremost right is are they talking about dying are they kind of talking to you about not wanting to live anymore so we want that to be any major change in behavior so something that they used to want to be with friends and do all of that and now they're withdrawing they're not engaging in those same things maybe they're acting out more they're withdrawing you're noticing a change in behavior if you're noticing anything major kind of trust your gut and talk to them about it you're not planting ideas in anybody's head but you might get some information that's really important to have no, that's really critical. And I wonder, the ER is not always the best place for someone to yeah. go, right? And we know that ER hospitalizations have increased in the past 15% higher in April, 24% higher in October. Those are some seasonal trends. But what are some other ways people can receive access, mental health counseling, get the support that they really need? I mean, I think we don't want to go to the ER as our primary, but if we're really afraid for safety, it may be our best and, like, fastest option, right? So if you can't do that, call your pediatrician. If you have the availability, reach out to trusted counselors at school if that's available to you. Talk to your friends. Chances are other people are in need of the same thing, and they might have resources that you can lean on. Call your insurance if you have it. Their panels might have availability. So there are resources we don't think of that we need to lean into, but the ER, if safety is really the primary issue, is your first line of defense. Yeah, so important. Dr. Jennifer Hartstein with that really critical information. Thank you so much. And if you're watching this, struggling or considering suicide, help is always available. You can call or text the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 988.